Welcome to another video lecture. Today we will discuss a new topic and it is arches. And this video lecture we will discuss mainly why we are using arches instead of beams for longer spans. And secondly we will discuss a typical arch bridge and thirdly which are the different types of arches. In the first case if you are considering why the arches are used instead of beams. I will explain with an example. Let us consider a simply supported beam and a point load P is acting at a distance L by 4 from end A. And if you take the reaction, the reactions you will get as 3P by 4 and here P by 4. Okay, then, then if you are going to consider the moment at this point L by 4, the moment will be 3p L by 16 that means 3p by 4 multiplied by L by 4 distance. So that is the moment at here. Then if you are going to consider an arch at the same point L by 4 distance a P load is acting and the reactions are here mentioned similar same to this one 3p by 4 and here P by 4. But in this case there is a reduction component that is this horizontal thrust. So it will be reduced 3PL by 16 minus H into Y this deflection. So if you are going for if you are considering this beam and this arch the moment bending moment will be reduced in the case of this arches. And if you are going to consider a concentrated load is acting over a simply supported beam then the bending moment will be M directly proportional to L square that is WL square by 8 the maximum bending moment WL square by 8 for a UDL acting over the simply supported beam. So if the span is very large or very long it is very uneconomical for a beam to be constructed. So in such cases we will go to this arches and the arches are is a structure and it is not based on its shape whereas it is based on the how the load can withstand over this this shape okay so this is the main reason why we are going to arches instead of beams so then coming to some of the terminologies related with this arches so the arches actually is hold down at two supports and two supports are called as abutments all the loads is acting over this arches will be transferred to these two supports and the distance between these two supports are called the span and the distance vertical distance from the this center point to this center point is called the rise the height and this center point the topmost point is called the crown these are some of the terminologies and some of the terminologies which will be used in the problem source okay then coming to the different types of arches. First one is three hinged arch. Second one is two hinged arch. And last one is fixed arch. In the case of three hinged arch, as the name indicates, there will be three hinges. One at the support and here also one. And at the center also there will be a hinge. So the name indicates there will be three hinges. In the case of two hinges, there will be two hinges only. Okay. And in the case of fixed arch, both ends will be fixed or we can say it as a hingeless arch. Then we compare with three hinged and two hinged. It is a statically determinate structure. Statically determinate. Why is so? If you are going to consider any different loads are acting here, there will be two reactions and here also two reactions. So 2 plus 2, 4. And number of equilibrium equations is 3. And here one hinge is also provided. So we can consider this also one equation. So total 4 minus 4 equals 0. Come to this case. Here 2, here also 2, 4. And number of equilibrium equations is 3. So the value is going to be 1. Statically indeterminate. So these are some of the main features related with the arches. Already we discussed that why we are using these arches instead of beams. 
and secondly some of the terminologies related with arches thirdly which are the different types of arches so these are the some of the main introduction part related with arches i hope the video lecture is very clear for you so with this we will wind up today's session thank you